What's going on guys, Cloxo, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be getting ourselves better FPS on Minecraft Badline Client. Now, I'm getting a bit of frame drops right now because I'm recording and I'm doing stuff in the background like rendering some other parts. So yeah, you might not get like the exact representation in this video, but that's all I can really do. So in this video I'm going to be teaching you how you can get better frames in Badline Client. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so firstly you want to go into options, video settings, and do these, which I have right now. Render distance, set this to 16. Make sure this is unlimited so we can see the FPS. Why do you want to set this on 16 or 32? Sure, rendering is slower and is more resource demanding, but uh, when it, everything renders, it doesn't have to render anymore. So obviously it keeps your frames much more stable, and that's really it for that setting. Okay, another thing is just cop just copy all of these real quick. Uh, in details, this is what you want to have. Try turn everything. Try turn these off if this is um, if this is like your last resort. Cloud height, you want to have clouds off. Animations, turn it all off. I have all on, but turn all off. Copy these settings. Obviously, in quality, this is what you want to have. You might want to turn mipmap down to two. That makes it less. Connect textures, turn links to off or fast. Bitmap, you might not want to turn that on. Anti-aliasing, don't turn this on. It's slower and the FPS is just going to be horrible. Performance, you want to have this on. You want to have fast math on because then you can use sine and cosine. Uh, fast render on and smooth world off. I have it on, but have it off. Other, then this is what you want to have. Lagometer, you can have that on. This is what you want to have for this. Autosave. 30 minute I would have this really on 30 minute because it does do the lag spike of death you know when it saves everything do it to 30 minutes and that's all we can do in bad line right now okay now when you've exited bad line you want to go into the launcher part click here where your head is and click to settings go to settings and set this to half of your RAM I don't have 14 gigabytes I have 16 but it's detecting it wrong so just do half of what it shows you here just hit save settings and make sure you you can have this turn it off if it's really causing FPS issues whatever language you need uh, now next part okay so next part you want to type in control panel and go to here go into Java click it go into Java click view and type in these parameters make sure it's enabled type in these parameters uh, this is two gigabytes but that's fine you can Add three if you feel like, but that's about it. Uh, it's this is you don't have to worry about this system. You don't also have to worry about this. But if in system, it's different to what it's in user, then change that up. That could also help. These are obviously your parts, your location, so you need to keep that as it is. Press OK, apply OK, and close out. Now next time you run bad line, you should have better frames. If you're going to go into your bad line settings, turn full bright on. This removes shadows and just makes everything nicer, takes away shading, and is better for you. Now, if you guys enjoyed this small little video tutorial on how to get better frames, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Obviously, it really helps out if you subscribe and like the video, so I know you enjoy these kind of stuff. And share if it helps you, so you can share a friend if they're having issues with this stuff. Obviously, you have players off. That's the best for you. That's also another good tip for FPS. So yeah, make sure you share this video and if we hit 20 likes, I'm going to make a Optifine edition. So just for Optifine, not Bad Lion. And that's about it. So yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace.